Persona! Persona? Persona! Oh yeah, even more Persona! Persona! But seriously, hot damn, that's a lot of fucking Persona games right there. A lot of Persona love, and they're also the Persona 4 anime. I guess I could go and include that, but I only had the games handy right there. So regardless, I am a happy-ass motherfucker. I just recently got done talking about Persona, and I was like, you know what I really wish? That Persona 5 would just get announced a couple days later. Persona 5! And I'm like, that makes me so fucking happy. Like, I mean, brutally just cock-thrusting right through the fucking goddamn veil of time happy. And why that would have to happen and occur, I don't know. I just, it's something I can fucking do. <laughs> Consider it my persona ability. But anyhow, so Atlas goes and they had like this teaser website that was going for quite a while and the countdown had happened and then it's like Persona 5 and by the way, like three other Persona games. I'm like, oh! So we have Persona 5 that got announced and it showed off like this red image and it's got like some fucking chairs and stuff and these little uh, shackles and weights that are connected to it and stuff and it's all cryptic and stuff and I, I like that because it seems dark and gritty like the Persona series technically is even despite the fact that there is some upbeat and, and colorful and happy-go-lucky overtones you know to go and balance things out but for the most part the, the core storyline and the main reason that the games are even happening it's usually just dark overtones man I fucking like that a whole lot I dig that kind of shit anytime that's real serious because you know I love all my fantasy stuff and yada 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 and blah 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 but I like whenever stuff gets serious and kind of morbid. I fucking dig that a whole lot, and that's one of the reasons why I liked a lot of the Shin Megami Tensei games. You know, whether we're talking about Devil Survivor, Digital Devil Saga, Nocturne, stuff like that, I just like that shit a whole lot. It always made me happy. Now, besides Persona 5, well, I'll go and say a couple more things about Persona 5. They said that it's PlayStation 3 bound, and I'm pretty sure it's probably going to end up dropping in like early 2015 in English-speaking countries. In Japan, it'll be coming out like sometime late 2014. So we still have a while to wait, and I'm an extremely patient individual. And most people will think, oh man, why isn't it coming out for the newest systems? If you go and think about it, Persona 4 didn't come out until like 2008. You know, and we were already into the next console generation. I'm just fine with wherever it shows up at, so long as they're smart enough to go and do like they did with Persona 4. You know, they made the golden version, and they when they ported it out on the Vita. Well, put it onto, like, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Put it onto Wii U. Wii U needs some fucking RPGs, man. And considering the fact that we have now Sega and Atlas being bed buddies together, I can see something like that happening. And as a matter of fact, speaking of Sega, this will be kind of interesting because it'll be the first time that we see a Persona game with the Sega logo on it. And I'm like, that'll be neat. And it seems like, you know, Sega's just been like, do your own fucking thing. And that makes me extremely pleased beyond understanding because they're, even though I haven't gotten to talk about a whole shit ton, you'll be able to hear about it a little bit here. But um, the Persona series has been one of my favorite like RPG franchises ever since I played Persona 2 Eternal Punishment on PlayStation 1, which I still consider like one of the best entries within the series. And I'm talking like the entire Shin Megami Tensei series. Like, it's amazing. I love Persona 4 and then some, but Persona 2 is no fucking slouch whatsoever, and especially if you get Innocent Sin on PSP because it's a two-part story, so play them both. Yeah, but anyhow, um, now there's other ones that they did end up talking about. The one on the 3DS is one I'm going to talk about next because I have a lot more interest in that than I do the other two. But, what the fuck was it called again? Uh, I have everything sitting on the screen right here because it's like so much fucking information. So, it's called Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth. Okay, so... This looks like, it, keep in mind, everything hasn't really been translated. We don't have a whole shit ton of information. But what is like, everybody's like chibi form and all cutesy bootsy and stuff like that. You want to bitch your little fucking cheeks and just rip their fucking face off. I'm wearing a Campbell Corp shirt. Of course I'm going to say really morbid and fucked up grotesque things like this. Why are you even surprised if this is your first time at my channel? Then this won't be the last time you hear me say something fucked up. Just saying. So, now that we have these cutesy little versions of all the characters from Persona 3 and Persona 4, they're running around and they were fighting shadows. That's what I got to see for the most part. It doesn't explain a whole hell of a lot because the fact is that it was all in Japanese and to me that's like moon language. I don't know what the fuck that means because I can't speak or read fucking Japanese. I'm sorry. I speak the English. So, 
but we got to see them running around, and it's going to be on the 3DS, so I'm assuming it's probably going to just be like those games except for two worlds colliding. The only thing that bumps me out, though, is anytime that I think about this, like I had said previously, Persona 2 is like one of my favorite entries in the series. They always seem to like clamor towards Persona 3 and Persona 4, especially Persona 4, because that's like the biggest hit that they've had, and arguably the best within the series. I will go and say that it is the best entry in the series, especially if you play Persona 4 Golden on Vita. Honestly, play that shit. Play that shit! Play Play that shit! Play that shit! Because that's what you should be doing. And I, I even sold somebody, like, I went to Half Price Books the other day and was telling this to him, like, you ever played a Persona series because he had a Vita? And he's like, no. I'm like, have you played Final Fantasy? He's like, oh, yeah, fucking Final Fantasy. I'm like, play Persona. And he actually went and he got the Persona games that day. I'm like, fuck yeah, that's awesome. It, it makes me happy realizing the spread in the love. Oh, yeah. So... Yes, I am in a good fucking mood, by the way. And no, I'm not hopped up on any kind of medication. This is all natural. So, we, we've got, like, a little Labyrinth-style Atlas game that's going to combine Persona 3 and Persona 4 together in a big mishmash. And so, maybe this will be, like, a thing of, you know, like, Kingdom Hearts-esque type shit where worlds are colliding together. I just want to see characters from the other Persona games to show up. You know, it'd be kind of cool, maybe from the other Shimigami Tensei games. Just saying. So... Then there's one for Vita, which is going to be the one I have zero fucking interest in playing. I'm not a, like, big music rhythm fan. Like, Prop of the Rapper is fine. Bust the Groove was kind of okay. Dance Dance Revolution, I have to sit down in front of the mat and just do this, because that's the only fucking way that I can play, because as soon as you are like, all right, stand on it, I'm like, eh. And it's like, a whole bunch of arrows are just flying around everywhere. And I'm like, I hit one of them. Alright, give me a fucking controller. Brrrr, fucking destroy that shit. And yes, I know that I could probably just... Uh, whatever the one is called that's on the computer. I forgot the fuck that was called. Damn, I can't even think of it. Shit. Oh, well, well, it doesn't really fucking matter. The one that's on the computer that's not an official version by Konami or anything like that. Just homebrew version. Anyway. So, it's called Persona 4 Dancing All Night. And I saw that and I'm like... That's all that I can really do. I'm just like, no, I'm good. This this has zero interest for me. I understand that there's a market for people and this kind of stuff. It's just not my kind of thing. So don't think like, oh, Alpha Mixon's bashing it. Get your head out of your ass, you fucking retard, numbskull motherfucker. I just don't really dig this kind of games. I'm just saying. So, yeah, it'd be like a, a rhythm dancing game with the characters, and they're just like doing like this, and you gotta hit shit in a time fashion stuff. Oh, Taiko Drum Master is another one I like a whole lot. But you got a drum, and you're just beating the living shit out of it, and I like that. My brother is a drummer, so I always grew up liking drums a whole lot. And also, I mean, like, you know, have you ever listened to Van Halen? Fucking Hot for Teacher? Drums on that are just shit. Oh my god. Ah, oh, makes me so fucking happy. Also, Demi Borger and Fear Factory. Drumming on those bands oh, makes me happy. Rumbly in my tummy. So, then... We have an, uh, the Persona 4 fighting game, which I personally haven't ever got my hands on, and some people might cry heresy, but unless I have friends who I know personally that are going to sit down with me and play through the games, I just can't get into a lot of the fighting games, so I have trouble going and doing something like that. But I did have a great deal of interest in this because it was based off Persona, done by the people that did Blaze Blue, and I'm like, huh, which are the people that did Guilty Gear, which I hold Guilty Gear in the highest regard of all fighting games anywhere within a known universe. Oh, Guilty Gear is so fucking good. And I can't wait for the next one, by the way. And yes, I do know about it. I just haven't really rambled and babbled about it. But this is about Persona. But it's called Persona 4 The Ultimate Ultra Suplex Hold. Holy shit, that's a lot. I thought, like, Street Fighter X plus Alpha, and that shit got, like, really out of hand. But they're Persona 4 The Ultimate Ultra Suplex Hold. And I actually kind of like that name because it's, like, a bunch of ridiculous shit put together. But I would have a greater interest in this shit if they just put all the characters from all the Persona games in it. Just all of them like this. I'll just keep doing this. Move it along, folks. Move all the characters into there. Now it seems like I could be doing a dance. Do, do Charleston, do the Cabbage Patch, do some shit like that. Some fucking shuck and jive. And no, I'm not talking about dancing all night because, again, I don't want to fucking play that. I just, I want RPGs. That's my main thing. I'm just like, more RPGs, please? More RPGs? Because I've put in at least, like, several hundred hours on all the Persona games combined together. And if I had a functioning PSP, I'd be playing more of the Persona games I have on PSP, but my PSP bit the dust, so unfortunately I don't really have one. Make a sad face! See all this fucking frown town shit? So, yeah. 
Persona 5, though. Back to Persona 5, I just... I've been dying for one, because ever since, Perso I, I mean, Persona 4, it seems like it happened such a long time ago, it was 2008. Th that is kind of a long time to wait for a next entry in a series, and you have people like me that are, like, waiting feverishly, like, I got fucking chills, man, <laughs> like, <sighs> can't fucking wait for the next one, like, I need my fucking Persona fix! But, you know, and naturally Atlas puts out a, a bunch of different stuff, but since they're hooked up with Sega, Sega, if you could maybe throw some some more love, uh, some more advertising, some more people, so you can like get games cranked out a little bit faster, a little bit faster. Because seriously, motherfuckers like me are addicted. When I see that Atlas name, that beautiful Atlas name, I'm like, oh, Atlas. Oh wait, it says Atlas on it. Damn, Skippy, it says Atlas. So when it does. That means I'm gonna buy that shit, and I'm gonna be happy with it. And all the Persona games, I'll tell you this much, there isn't a bad Persona game. And I know somebody might argue and be like, whoa, I didn't like that, that, that. look. For me personally, I have not played a Persona game and been disappointed with it. So right now, it's like a flawless RPG series. That's why I put it up there with the best of the best. The Tale series, Persona can fucking hang out with it. Final Fantasy, a fucking course. The, the Breath of Fire games, goddamn straight. Star Ocean games, Dragon Quest, you're fucking damn right. Persona sits up there without even breaking a sweat. So, Persona 5. I can't wait for it. I can't wait to see actual gameplay footage of it. I can't wait to see any kind of news leaked about it. Just anything right now, I'm going to be staying tuned on it. So you'll be seeing videos from me in the future talking about this. So now to all the people out there who are Persona fans, fuck yeah, it's awesome! And to all the people out there that have not played Persona and might be interested in it, get a PlayStation 1 or a PlayStation 2, and right there, you can play four of the P uh, Persona games, get a PSP, you can play two right there. Uh, I don't know, get a Vita, and you can play Persona 4 Golden, which arguably is the best Persona game. Bam! Look at that shit! So, it, it's a lot of Persona love. It makes me happy. And Persona 5, I cannot fucking wait. So... This is Alpha Omega Sin. Happy as fuck, as always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers. Game the fuck on. And play Persona games, because it's good for you, Tommy. Good. And yes, I know that's not metal. Fuck you. That's metal.